How's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about, in my humble opinion, where the best place to get started is when it comes to the whole idea of becoming a closer. And I'm going to define what that means in this video. And hopefully this will help you out if you're new to the channel. Perhaps you're kicking tires and you're like, man, what is this inbound closing thing? Is it for me? Can I do it part time? Which course is the best program out there? Is it Dan Locke's high ticket closer course? Is it Sales Mentor? Is it Sales Sniper? Maybe you haven't even heard of that company. Uh, is it Sav Sam Ovens Consulting? Is it Russ Rafino's um, Get Clients on Demand? Is it like, it's just endless. The courses are endless. You could literally sign up for every single program. We haven't even talked about Jordan Belford, Grant Cardone, Jason Capital has a copywriting course. There's tons, tons out there. So where, <laughs> where do you begin? It's, a, it's the same analogy that I've used with books. Like you could read books to the cows come home. Like last year alone, I read over 50 books. And did my income go up? Not necessarily. I bought a boatload of courses last year, a boatload. And sometimes you can get caught in the purgatory, if you will, of buying courses. Believe me, believe me. If you get nothing out of this, there is so many courses out there that you can actually uh, just get addicted to buying courses, really, at the end of the day. So let me just... Let me just share my screen, shall I? Let's go to the whiteboard for a second. Let me see if I could draw something nice and fancy here. So I drew this type of map in another video, but this is going to be a little bit different. Everybody's seen this. If you haven't, this is the buying pocket or the gap. Basically, this is you draw a nice little picture of you oh we gotta we mustn't forget about this here can i even shade that in that's a that's a mask whoa look at that it's like an evil mask doesn't it it's kind of crazy here hang on here how's that there so this is you I might do a video later on why I think the Matrix Resurrections is going to absolutely bomb in the movie theaters. It's coming out well. It's coming out on HBO, but I think it's gonna it's gonna tank terribly. I think it's gonna just ah. I'll get into that in another video. But uh, you've heard it here first. There's lots of people excited right now about the Matrix Resurrections. I am a huge fan of Keanu Reeves, huge fan. But I think just from the trailer that I saw, unless they can clean it up miraculously, I think it's destined for failure. Worse than Matrix 3 Revolutions. There's my bold prediction. But anyways, you're here on the left side. You want to get over to here. Maybe this is a crown, you know. This guy's here, he got here. Look at this guy, this guy's a cool dude, man. This guy's really cool. And over here is, what are we drawing here? What are we drawing? Oh my Lord, this is brutal. This is supposed to be a freaking Lamborghini, a sports car. What the f Logical sticks is this car. This looks like the General Lee or the Herbie Love Bug or something. I don't know what. Okay, anyways, this is cash. 
you can jump. But what happens when people jump is they fall down here and then there's a whole bunch of bodies right here. A whole bunch of bodies piling up here. You're just like, uh, you know, the barrel of monkeys. You ever play that game? You pull one monkey out and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of monkeys attached. You know, this is this is sometimes what happens to people is they keep buying so many courses and they're like a barrel of monkeys and they can't get out. They can't get to this gap either. And there's probably a reason why. Well, there is a reason why. And I'm going to share a little bit about that in this video. But so people are asking, you know, so, so should I get a course from Sales Mentor? I should actually type this out, this part. Let's see if I could type this. Uh, sales mentor, come on, come on, type sales mentor, which is the inbound closing program. Should I go with Grant Cardone with his uh sales courses? What is it, the Grant Cardone University? Should I go with Jason Capital, learn copywriting and all this kind of stuff? Should I go with uh Hi, Lopez's 67 Steps. Uh, should I go with uh, Sam Ovens? Go with his course. And then we got Sales Sniper, uh, which is a little bit of a different course. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for newbies. Uh, you could take it, but it's not designed for brand new salespeople. That's not the idea behind Sales Sniper. It's basically if you have sales experience and you're you know, maybe, maybe you're used to making $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 and you want to up your game a little bit more. Uh, I would say that's that's more what that is, is to get your skills up in a, an extra notch, seventh level, if you will. Oh, and then you also got uh, Jeremy Miner's seventh level stuff as well. Whoa, Miner. His course, who am I missing? I know there's a, there's a ton of people. I just want to miss the main ones. Oh, Dan Lock, his course as well. So you got all these courses. Which one? Which one is good? And it depends. Like which one is for you? It it really depends on where you're at. If you want the cheapest route, and you're like, you know what, I have less than a thousand bucks to invest in myself then I would say, take this one. If you just want to learn a little bit about the niche, then I would say, pick pick this one. It's 97 bucks. You're off to the races. Um, I did a video earlier about break, the breakdown and all the other courses. I think Sam's is 2K. Sales Sniper is 35, I believe, $35 Aussie per week. And you get billed every two weeks. Whoa. For that, then you can cancel anytime. That's that's another nice thing about the sales sniper is you can cancel it's the closers code. You can cancel whenever you want. You don't have to stay with it. Once you get your skills up to a certain level, you can just cancel. Uh, and then Jeremy Miner has, uh, I believe it's a bunch of various courses from 1K up to 30K, I believe. Whoa. Let's say 15K. I know there's ones that are higher. Dan Lock, same thing. I believe, man, I want to do all the price for everybody here, but <laughs> Ty Lopez is this one's pretty straightforward. I have this one 67 bucks for 67 uh, steps. And actually, he has a big deal going on right now. It's almost like Black Friday. It's over 90%. I think it's like 95% off on all his deals because he needs to fund his business. So he's got all these courses. If you buy the course, it'll actually support Ty Lopez so that he can go and buy real businesses. So if you're thinking about, you know, maybe you need to get into the course thing, it's not a bad idea because when you think about it, all these guys have courses to sell. And you're buying all of them. So when you ask me which course, which course should I buy? My thought process is buy a course that uh, 
will actually help you eventually sell your own stuff, something that will help you build your own course. Uh, here's another one. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Ted McGrath. He's got a bunch of courses. His is pretty good. Uh, it's 2K. I have it. It's called the uh, uh, Message to Millions. And basically, it's, uh, it's a program designed around building your personal story into a program, an online course. And he teaches you advertising. He teaches you marketing on Facebook, on YouTube, how to create YouTube ads, all this kind of stuff. And it's actually a pretty good course for $2,000. Uh, if you don't know anything about him, go check him out. Dan Lack, Dan Lock, I can't speak. Uh, I can't say anything bad or good. Uh, I tease him a lot in my videos, but I've never bought any of his courses, his high ticket closer stuff. Uh, high, high ticket closing, high ticket sales. I haven't bought any of his stuff. Uh, same thing, Grant Cardone, Jason Capital, uh, sales mentor. I bought everything. Uh, their highest program, I believe. Uh, they have one that's 440, I think. And then they have another one that's 997. Nine and then they have another one that's 2000. And then they have another one that's 8800. That's the coaching. So I took the ball, took all the courses. Uh, I also paid for a couple of sales sniper courses as well. He had a three day workshop with Eli Wild. That one was pretty good. I think they generated, I don't know, a few hundred thousand dollars anyways over the three days, which is pretty good. That's why I think at the end of the day, man, if you can get into the whole course, selling a course niche, I think that's the way to go. And I've thought about it for the past six months or so. Uh, right now, I'm just working on an ebook. I want to create a bit of a lead magnet for my new website and all this kind of stuff. So I hired a web designer from Upwork and uh, it seems like it's taken forever. If you're watching this video, hurry up. Come on. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's, that's part of the issue sometimes when you're trying to outsource. Like I can build a website myself and I could probably do it in one evening but I wanted to focus my attention on other things and hire someone to build my website, but it's taking forever. And I have a couple of video projects that I'm working on right now. So, and also trying to keep this YouTube channel going as well, because it's my baby. It's my bread and butter, if you will. It basically uh, it's growing and you got to feed the beast. How do you feed the beast? Well, you got to keep creating content on your YouTube channel, because if you leave it for too long, your viewership goes down, your subscriber count goes down and all this kind of stuff. So I want to continue to add value to this. So how do you get to this? How do you get to this other side when you're like, man, I got to get to here. I want to get the Lamborghinis and all this kind of stuff, but how do I, how do I do that? How do I get to here? I'm going to show you an easy way of getting there. And uh, I learned this from my buddy, Matt Ryder from Sales Sniper. Again, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. And the whole gang there, Marco Cortese, Jeremy Ryder, the whole works. I've been trained by the best in the world. So how do you pick a course? How do you pick a course? Well, picture yourself. Or here, here's a here's an illustration. Picture a bunch of people on an island. Matt will like this analogy. He loves this one. Okay. I didn't say you, I said picture a bunch of people on the island. Okay. Let's call this guy Bob. Okay, this guy right here, Bob. This guy is Bob. So you got all these people on the island. This is starting to look like a hat. Why did I draw a volcano for crying out loud? I wanted to draw a mountain. Okay, you got all these bozos here on the island. And Bob decides to ask this guy, and he's like, hey, you know what? I heard a rumor that there is land 
out there somewhere. Not sure where, but I've just heard rumored. What do you think? Is it true? Should I, you know, what should I do? And you're asking people that have lived on this island for years and years, maybe even generations. You know, you can call this loser island. I know that looks like a little bit like closer. Sometimes I get mixed up between the word closer and loser because losers are closers and closers are losers. Anyways, this is loser island. Now I get a little crazy sometimes because I haven't eaten yet. So I get a little bit lightheaded. So I get a little bit silly. So bear with me. This is starting to look like a sombrero. It doesn't look like an island. Anyways, you get these dopey people wandering the island, going round and round and round. And then you get Bob. Bob is like, hey, uh, I heard there's land somewhere. What do you think? Well, you don't ask these dopey people because their their perspective is what's on the island. So what you need to do, erase this stupid island, erase this. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Do, 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 do. What you need to do, this will help you out is you need, told you, Matt will absolutely love this drawing. You need to get your freaking boots on and you need to climb this mountain. Why? Why? Because if you climb up the mountain, this will change your perspective and all of a sudden, you see land ho way over here because you're up on this mountain and you can see farther. I don't know, 40 miles? I forget how far you can actually see the naked eye. Let's just say 40 miles. I think it's like four miles, but we'll use 40. Land ho. Look at this. You got buildings. You got... Uh, Let's draw the Eiffel Tower. Maybe this is Paris. That looks like a freaking mountain, too. Crap. I can't draw. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, that's it's supposed to be the Eiffel Tower. And I know there's no big buildings in the Eiffel Tower. It's terrible. Terrible. It sucks. Okay, here, try this. How about this? I could draw this. This is St. Louis. I've been in this arch. That is like the coolest thing in St. Louis. St. Louis itself was a, a shitty town. Sorry. If you're from St. Louis, I apologize that you live in that town because there was nothing there. Windows were boarded up. We couldn't find any place to eat. This is a few years ago, but it was just, yeah, the only thing was good that was good was the arch. So I went inside that thing. So what the hell is this whole thing? What am I talking about here? Oh, yeah, perspective. <laughs> you climb up the mountain so that you can get a perspective. And you, uh, you got to put on your bootstraps. All right, so let's go back to the racer. So you need to change your perspective. All right, and then... Once you do that, once you change your perspective, now you have to do this. And again, I told you, I told you that Matt would love this. Maybe even Marco Cortese would love my drawings. I think I'm a better drawer than Marco Cortese, just saying. Um, pick a freaking direction. Pick one, okay? North, south, south, west, east. So here's Dan Locke. Excuse me, my nose is running for some reason. Dan Locke, by his course. Sail sniper, go over here. Notice I put them on opposite ends of the spectrum. Isn't that psychedelic? Isn't that crazy? Sales spider. What the hell? I am t 
tired. Maybe that's a new idea for a program or something, a core sales spider. Sniper, sniper, sales sniper. And then you could put uh, Ted McGrath if you like the building courses crap. You like doing all that crap? Ted McGrath, good guy. I watched this play, the one-man show of I'm not good enough, something like that. And his program, his course, and everything is pretty good. And then down here we have, uh, let's say, Jason Capital, because his is a little bit different. His is more copywriting. So if you want to learn how to uh, write better ads than that, then check this guy out. But you got to pick a direction. Capital. I feel like I'm in like grade two with this stupid board on Zoom. Like, look at this. This is just, it's not the easiest with the mouse. So Dan Locke, you can go west and you can uh, go out to Vancouver. That's where he lives in Canada. He's Canadian. Vancouver, BC. I was actually born in BC. So I think, I think I was going to say something stupid. So I won't, I won't. I was born in BC. They're in full craziness, lockdown, all this kind of stuff. So there's Sales Sniper. You can go Dan Lock. Oh, Ted McGrath. Oh, and then, of course, you can go over here and do the Sales Mentor. Beware, beware of upsells. That's all I'm going to say about Sales Mentor. They will upsell you to death. I promise you, you won't be able to say no to them. So be wary. Be wary. I've warned you. 97 bucks gets you in to the system, into the matrix, into the sales matrix, into the closer matrix, if you will. So 97 bucks, man, and you're in. It's like taking the red pill, really. So you can pick Dan Locke, Ted McGrath, Sales Sniper, Jason Capital, any one of them. The whole point of this video is pick a direction stick with it if you could do that any one of these courses will work will some work better than yes others yes of course but pick one go through the whole gauntlet like in, with sales mentor there's like 40 videos to watch that is enough to get your appetite wet then go out apply for jobs Watch some of my videos. I showed you who that you should apply to, which companies, all this kind of stuff. And I'll, maybe I'll continue to do that And anytime I have ideas as to who you can reach out. I know it already worked out for one gentleman. Uh, I mentioned a, a company. He reached out to them, got hired, all this kind of stuff. So it does work. Like there are inbound closer positions out there. You have to look for them. And it's not easy. No matter what anybody says, it's not easy. And at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable with calling people on the phone. You have to be comfortable with cold calling. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I'm probably the only YouTube channel out here that is telling you what it's like behind the scenes and all this kind of stuff. I used to be a sales sniper. I took all the sales mentor courses. I took all the Ted McGrath courses. I'm a lifetime mentor, member with Ted McGrath. I get access to any of his future courses that he can dream of. I get access to those courses. Sales mentor, I have all of them. I have access to all the courses. You want to be certified? I can tell you exactly what it takes to become an inbound, a certified inbound closer. Want to know what it's like working for a sales sniper? I can let you know that. Watch my videos, whatever. Do I know anything about Jason? Uh, Jason Locke? Dan Locke? No. I just like making fun of him. That's all. He makes goofy videos about martial arts and all this kind of stuff. And maybe one day I'll challenge him to a martial arts competition. I'll use Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He could use kung fu or whatever he wants. Who knows? Maybe that's going to get a spark here on this video. Who knows? Um, 
Yeah, here's here's a question. Question of the day. Who do you think would win in a cage fight? Dan Locke or Grant Cardone? I think what they should do is they should put all these guys in a cage, all of them, and just let them go. I think it would be fun to just watch and see who kicks the crap out of who. I think that would be worth it. I'd pay for that. I'd pay for that course. I really would. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you got something out of it. If not, hey, what can I say? See you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or else. Dan Locke. I'll send Dan Locke or somebody after you. Bye for now.